Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again so much for our time together. Water baptism weekend is this weekend. We're looking forward to being with you and celebrating with our brothers and sisters in Christ as we recognize what God has done in our life. It's just going to be a great weekend. Right now, I want us to come back to the book of Ezra, chapter 9. Now, we know that Ezra was used by God mightily in the book of uh, Nehemiah to lead the people of God and maybe the greatest revival of the Old Testament. But we begin to see the spiritual condition that these people lived in in chapter 9. After these things had been done, the leaders came to me and said, The people of Israel, including the priests and the Levites, have not kept themselves separate from their neighboring peoples with their detestable practices. Now I want you to notice there comes a point which God people begin to say, we've had enough of the compromise. We've had enough of the sin. We've had enough of, of priests and Levites, spiritual leaders who, who are not keeping themselves separate from the detestable practices that, that unsaved people do. And they begin to recognize this isn't the way we're supposed to live. And they stop tolerating the sinfulness in preachers' lives. Now later in the book of Nehemiah, we see that, that Ezra led a great revival and the, the spiritual leaders were just kind of put aside as a scribe came along and led the people in revival. Elishib, the high priest, and the others were just set aside as Ezra, a man devoted to the study of God's Word, a man devoted to the Word, a man devoted to prayer, a man devoted to teach the law of God, began to lead the people in revival. But a lot of this begins with the people of God saying, we've had enough of this. We've had enough of spiritual leaders who do not separate themselves from the detestable practices of unsaved people. Now, pastors, I just lay out a warning. These days are beginning in the body of Christ. These are days just preceding what I believe will be one of the greatest revivals this world has ever seen. And people of God are beginning to rise up all over the world. They're, they're not asking for us to be perfect as pastors. They recognize that we're a work in progress like everybody else. But the flagrant sin, the, the drinking, the gambling, the womanizing, the, the cigars, the, I mean, the just in-your-face practices that so many pastors are involved in today, I'll warn you, people of God are beginning to complain. You look around the world and you watch the minister's magazines and you see preachers that are being fired by their congregations. Pastors that are being removed from the pulpit by the leaders of the church because they say, we just don't want this kind of stuff anymore. The hearts of God's people are beginning to turn. Revival is coming.